Hi, Ken Mahler here, AccordionHeaven.com, St. Paul, Minnesota. Here I have another Excelsior. Uh, it's uh, out of the late 50s, early 60s. Uh, it's really quite nice. Uh, the keyboard is a nice action, all the read responses there. But you have a nice low bassoon read. And then you have a clarinet read. Then you have a piccolo. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the bassoon, and then I'm going to kind of float around a little bit, okay? But anyway, there's a really nice fast keyboard. Uh, you have a nice deep, rich bass sound over there. Um, it really is as good as in a super feather light. I really like this accordion. It brings us up to that time where I kind of throw in a little bit of a, a lesson for, for people out there, uh, especially in that beginning intermediate level. What I'm getting into here right now is, is how to play a C major chord. We all know that C major is C, E, and G. And when you play this, you play the notes together like this. And you use the fingers 1, 2, and 3. The books say 1, 3, 5. But play it with 1, 2, 3 all the time. And keep this chord study practice period uh, uh, separate from your music. So you have 1, 2, 3. Now what I'm going to do is take that C and put it on top. It's the same three notes, but it's 1, 2, and 5 now. Now everybody wants to use 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 4. Make sure when in doubt, use the baby finger. And then I'm going to take the E and put it on top. So I have G, C, and E. 1, 3, and 5. Then go back down to the middle one. 1, 2, 5. And then start it over. And you can, you can play the, the, the called the root position over and over. And then go to the first inversion, which is the next one up. And then the second inversion. And then the the first inversion back to the root. Now what I suggest is playing a 4-4 time in the left hand. Again, use your middle finger and your index finger, alternating the bass, just like this. And then you could go right on at each beat, and then you have first inversion, just like that. And you can play that for as long as it takes to get them double. Eventually you may, you'll be able to change on every beat. And that's the beginning of what we call triads, three note chords. That's the C major, there's 12 major chords, one for every note. And it doesn't take that long. If you really work at it, uh, within months you could actually get fairly proficient at this. And what's nice about it is you'll be able to add harmonies, you'll be able to add your own style of playing, and there's a multitude of options for you down the road. But this is where it starts. Is, and again, keep the chords separate from your music studies you're, when you're playing songs. They'll come together later on. But right now, just remember, these are three note chords, C major. You want to, and eventually you'll be able to play it all the way up the keyboard. Okay, so anyway, work on that. You won't regret it, I promise you.